Hello, and welcome to the demonstration of Fire Tower Guard. In this video, we'll be taking you through a quick tour of Fire Tower Guard's unique features. Fire Tower Guard, or FTG for short, is a consumer-oriented security application for defending Windows PCs against malware and zero-day attacks. This demonstration assumes that you have already installed Fire Tower Guard on your PC. If you haven't installed Fire Tower Guard yet, you can download a trial version at our website, sampansecurity.com. Now let's take a look at Fire Tower Guard. This is the Fire Tower Guard home screen. From here you can view basic system information on the left hand side, like the Windows operating system, some basic hardware specs, and network configuration. On the right hand side you'll notice that Fire Tower Guard displays FTG status and notifications. There are indicators for Fire Tower service, which is the basic auto run monitoring function, guard service, which controls the advanced auto run detection and quarantine functions, and the profile setting, which we'll cover later in the video. Below that, FTG displays an overview of the auto run settings as well as important notifications. On the left hand edge, you'll notice four tabs which are used for navigating Fire Tower Guard. The first tab is Home, which is the current screen. Then you have tabs for auto run, quarantine, and events. Let's start by looking at the auto run tab. The auto run tab displays all of your system's auto run entries. As a refresher, an auto run entry is a component that allows a corresponding application to be started automatically every time Windows boots up. From here, all auto run entries are organized into categories which are accessed by these tabs General, Win Logon, Explorer, Internet Explorer, Providers and Monitors, Services, Drivers, Startup Files, and All, which lists all the auto run entries on your computer. Each auto run entry on FTG contains the entry name, the command line, and the company name. And FTG allows you to sort by these columns. You can see you can sort by the entry name, the command line, and the company. Additionally, a flag is associated with each auto run entry which denotes the auto run entry rating. A green flag represents a safe recognized auto run entry, a yellow flag represents an unknown entry, an orange flag represents a highly suspicious entry, and a red flag represents a known malicious entry. FTG allows you to select which auto run flag types you wish to see. Currently all flag types are selected for view, but if you click on this green flag, you'll notice that FTG now hides all green auto run entries. Click that back on, you'll see they're all back there. This is really helpful if you want to clear out all the safe green entries and only highlight the entries that are malicious or suspicious or even unknown. Even though none of these auto run entries are unknown or suspicious or malicious, if you did want to look at more information about each auto run entry, you can click on this view link. So we'll take a look at um, iTunes Helper. This will open the process information window where you can click on the look up file button. This will take you to Faultwire's website where they'll show you all the information they have on that specific auto run entry. In this case it's iTunes Helper. Here you can do a little bit more research and digging around and determine whether you feel this auto run entry is safe or suspicious. The next tab we'll look at is the Quarantine tab. The Quarantine tab displays all auto run entries that have been quarantined either automatically by Fire Tower Guard or manually by the user. From this tab you can right click an auto run entry and unquarantine or remove the entry. As you can see my computer does not have any quarantined auto run entries but if we go back to the auto runs tab we'll take a look at that iTunes helper. If we right click on it we can choose to quarantine that auto run setting. Now we'll go back to the quarantine tab and you'll notice that the iTunes helper entry is now quarantined. If I want to undo that I can click this and let iTunes helper go back to being a regular auto run entry. 
The final tab we'll look at is the Events tab. The Events tab displays a log of all important system events such as auto run modification, creation, and deletion. As you'll notice, iTunes Helper is listed here as being created and deleted, which is what happened when we quarantined iTunes Helper and then unquarantined it. Fire Tower Guard logged that as a deletion and a creation. Another important feature that we'd like to go over is the Guard Profile settings. You can access the Guard Profile settings by selecting Guard from the menu bar and selecting Fire Tower Guard options. This brings up the Fire Tower Guard control panel. Guard Profile settings allows users to set the appropriate level of security for their computer. Settings range from Lockdown, which prevents all non-system auto-run insertion and modification, all the way to Off, where all guard services will be suspended. Most users will find that the normal profile offers the best balance of security and accessibility. One last feature we'd like to go over is the Snapshot Viewer tool. This tool is for users who may need help troubleshooting a problem with their PC, such as system crashes, blue screens, slow performance, or even unidentified suspicious auto run entries. Snapshot Viewer allows you to take a snapshot of your PC's auto run settings and upload them to the cloud where they can be shared with a support professional or friend. To generate a report, simply click on File from the menu bar, click on Upload Snapshot, and click on Upload New Report. This will allow Fire Tower Guard to generate a new report with a web link. Once Fire Tower Guard has finished generating this link, you can share this link with any support professional or friend who can then view your PC's auto run settings through a web browser. Now let's try clicking on this link and opening the Snapshot Viewer tool in a web browser. Clicking on the report link will open Snapshot Viewer inside your web browser, and as you can see, Snapshot Viewer looks just like your Fire Tower Guard client. You can even manipulate the auto run entries and the columns just like you can in Fire Tower Guard. This is a really useful feature that allows people to help troubleshoot your PC's problems without requiring physical access to your PC, because it allows support professionals and friends to manipulate your auto run entries, sort through your data, just like if they were sitting in front of your computer. This concludes our Fire Tower Guard demonstration. You can find more information along with the trial version of Fire Tower Guard at our website, sampansecurity.com. Thank you for watching.